Grambling State is on a four-game losing streak dating back to 2019 when they lost their last game in the Bayou Classic against Southern University, 30-28. to Coach Fobbs has already seen enough this spring season and looking to make some changes effective immediately because he's sitting there saying, hey, there's no way in the world Grambling State should be playing this type of football. We have all this talent out here on the field. There's already been a few shakeups already. I don't know if you heard about it, but I'm going to drop them in your lap right now. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Tap your friend. Tell him, hey, look, Coach Walker's talking about Southern U today. So let's get on in this thing. But first, welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. We are less than 30 family members short of reaching 1,000. And at 1,000 views, I plan on doing something special for you. So if you haven't tapped in already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Like these videos, share these videos, comment on these videos. Not to mention, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, you know Coach Walker is going to go ahead and deliver to you like he normally do. So check this out. Coach Fobbs, yes, Grambling State head coach, he is sitting back trying to get a hold on his organization right now, trying to find out what in the heck is going on with his program right now. And things have been a little murky because if you didn't already know, um, they've been playing, you know, both of the quarterbacks this spring season. First, you see Jeremy Hickenbottom. He might start the game, get out there, play a couple of series. And then all of a sudden, you see Elijah Walker come out there on the field. And then you look at the body language of the two quarterbacks. It's like they're trying to figure out what's going on. You know how that you have that competitive edge where one feels that they may be starting and the other one, you know, thinking, hey, I should be out here starting. You know, you get what I'm saying, right? And not to mention, it's leaving the offense trying to figure out, okay, which one of these guys are we really going to get a rhythm with to figure out how we're going to go about things as far as the play calling, you know, the blocking scheme, so on and so forth, because everyone moves a little different. Offensive coordinator, Mark Orlando, who he decided, hey, look, he had to step down. He was saying enough was enough. Grambling University, they deserve a lot more than what's being given to them right now, because, I mean, when you're losing the game 17 to 10 to Prairie View, I mean, that, 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 that really is an eye opener. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Prairie View is playing some mean ball right now. And not only that, but if I'm not mistaken, the head coach of Prairie View used to be with Grambling. So that I, I guess that loss really took a toll on some folks this spring. Like, wait a minute. They finally came in here and whooped on us. Yeah, they got they beat you by seven. I know that one kind I know that one hurt a little bit. Not to mention, under uh offensive coordinator Orlando's watch. Gremlin was uh, averaging 28 points per game. And you know, that was ranked like seventh in the SWAT. So I can only imagine what them numbers look like for teams that's going that was six and above on their, on, as far as scoring every week. So if you're not competing at a high level, putting points on the board, and your defense is not stopping anybody, man, that's a recipe for disaster. And I think they're kind of seeing, I think. Uh, uh, offensive coordinator Orlando saw that and said, hey, you know what? Let me get, let me go ahead and tip my hat and say, hey, guys, it's time for me to go. Since offensive coordinator Mark Orlando stepped down, Coach Fobbs turned to his formal teammate when both of them both played at Grammar State University. They played football there together. And the uh, quarterback's coach, none other than Kennard Nord, he decided, excuse me, Kendrick Nord, he said, hey, I need you to take over the offensive uh, play calling ability. So I need you to be the OC. And, you know, he sat back and said, hey, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. You know, I guess Coach Fobbs looking at it from the standpoint of when they won the SWAT back in 2016 and 2017 and being the Celebration Bowl winners back in 2016, he figured, hey, Coach Nord could go ahead and get these quarterbacks to play in the manner in which he was able to get uh, Devontae Kincaid to play, who's now who has now left the program and graduated from um, – grabbing it back in 2017, he figured that, hey, he can go ahead and get these quarterbacks to move and do things the same manner in which Devontae Kincaid did and hopefully get them back on their winning track and putting points on the board. Well, it seems that Coach Nord is, is seeing the light himself and said, hey, look, I'm going to go ahead and resign from this position right now. Matter of fact, I'm just going to resign from the program altogether and I'm just going to move on and do something different. I believe he saw something within the program that just didn't fit well with him. And I think one of those things, the fact that Coach Fobbs is shaking up the coaching staff, trying to figure out who he can put where to get them to do the jobs or get them to do the things that he needs them to do to make this team better than what it is right now. So I'm trying to, right now, I believe Coach Fobbs is going to be the one that's going to call plays for the next three games. I thought that was what, I thought that was the plan originally when I spoke on this previously. And I guess that didn't happen. Coach Nord was the guy that they're going to bring in there to, Take over that, take over that duty. But Coach Norris said, "Hey man, I got to get out of here. I, this this just don't work for me." But you know, I look forward to seeing what type of plan Coach Fobbs has put in place 
to get his team back in order because like like I said right now, they are 0-4. And, and you know, you don't want to lose, you don't want to lose your faithful fans. You don't want to lose the people that, you know, support. You don't want to lose your fan supporters. You don't want to lose none of that stuff. You want to make sure you keep things in place because next they're going to be looking at trying to remove you out of there. And right now, I think Coach Fob is saying, hey, look, I got to put something in place to get this right so that we can go ahead and continue to move forward. Coach Fob, I wish you the best of luck out there. And I look forward to seeing what type of plan you have in place to get your team back on track. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be the one and lead.